Hey Glove Fam, so we're gonna jump right into this video. As you can see from the title, this is a Shein clothing haul. The first outfit that I have is the plus asymmetric neck contrast panel sweatshirt and sweatpants. Say that five times fast. And it is in a size 2XL. Now, this outfit I thought was very cute. I love the material because it was very, to me, it was thick. It wasn't really thin, even though you can kind of see my underwear lines through a little bit. Other than that, I liked it. I love the one shoulder look. The only downside that I have with this outfit is the way the bottom of the pants fit. I didn't like the cuff on there and it kind of made them seem like they were shorter on me and I just prefer a more looser bottom on my pants and for it to be a tad bit longer. Now all wigs, purses, and shoes are courtesy of my grandmother. I wanted to shake things up a bit for you guys so I hope you enjoy my the next outfit that we have is the color block tee with pants and it is also in a size 2XL. All of the outfits that I purchased were in a size 2XL. Now this outfit, it was totally giving me New Yorker vibes, okay, like some Tommy Hill figure. So you know I had to get my hoop earrings, my bubblegum pop in, okay, like I was feeling it. And this was one that I kept. Now I did not keep the first outfit if I didn't mention that before. And the material on this outfit was really nice and thick and the pants were super comfy and long just the way that I like them. So definitely my go-to lounge set. This little number right here is the Plus Paris Graphic Form Fitting Cami Romper. And I have to say, out of all of the outfits that I got, this was the most thinnest in regards to fabric, as you can kind of see the color of my bra between it. So if you do choose this outfit, I would just be mindful of the color undergarments that you wear. Other than that, I did think that it was a really cute piece and definitely one that I'm going to be packing for an upcoming trip that I have. You know, normally I don't really like short haircuts like this on me, but some of these wigs were giving me a vibe, man. I'm telling you, you wear some wigs and play dress up, you get put in a moment. So we're gonna abracadabra right on to our next outfit, which is this wonderful mesh insert crisscross back camo jumpsuit. That is a very long name. I really love this jumpsuit, especially the mesh detailing on the front leg area. And I love the crisscross design on the back. I thought that was very different and unique. It was certainly a good free flowing outfit. I didn't feel constricted at all. And it wasn't thin. Um, when you stretched out, you couldn't see, you know, the color of my underwear or anything. So I definitely liked that. By now, y'all are probably wondering why I have little animated stickers and just random things in this bottom corner. And it is because your girl forgot to remove the dustpan out of the camera view. So you just enjoy those little moments of animation down there. Oh la la, je m'appelle Martinique. Et tu? Yeah, that's all the French that I know, other than au revoir and bonjour. <laughs> but this fabulous square neck plaid crop top and skirt set definitely gave me Parisian vibes. So, you know, your girl had to do a little something something for you guys. Now with this outfit, I do have this really cute rose gold kind of pinkish um, purse with a rose gold chain strap. And I also have these gorgeous pink coach shoes. Yes, people, she let me bring out the coach. And they have these really cute pearls on the bottom. You guys probably can't see them, but you guys, when I put the whole outfit together, your girl was feeling herself. I was like, 
Mm, Poppy, they just finished my Harry Winston diamonds. Can we go out to lunch now? Now, again, a lot of these pieces were ones that I chose a little bit out of my comfort zone. And this is definitely one of them. I don't mind to show a little skin on my midsection, but not a lot of it. So with this outfit, I did not keep it, but I thought that it was really cute. It wasn't because of the overall look. It was just my comfortability with it. But off the shoulder, it looked cute. On the shoulder, it was fabulous. Like, I feel like you couldn't go wrong with this kind of outfit if you are more confident to pull it off than me. <laughs> With the exception of the black jumper that I got, the rest of the outfits had really good stretchy material that wasn't thin at all. She's giving you America's Next Top Model runway grunge walk. High fashion clueless. Okay, but seriously, this is the crop halter top and plaid skirt set. And this outfit, I definitely fell in love with the skirt. The top was a little bit too out of my comfort zone, just gonna say. It wasn't super bad, but it still just wasn't all the way, this is a me kind of top. But that skirt, I loved that skirt lit was everything and the whole plaid look it just it felt like it gave me my whole life and I contemplated keeping the outfit just for the skirt but I decided against it and went on ahead and returned that and of course I had to do a close-up of my Mary J Blige look Is anybody else ready for Thanksgiving? Because I'm totally ready for dressing. Like, dressing in cranberry sauce is life. Leave me a comment down below of what your favorite holiday is and your favorite holiday dish. So the outfit I have here is the Plus Contrast Trim Plaid Top and Skirt Set. I'm noticing a theme here of a lot of plaid and clearly my mind was ready for fall way before I even knew it. But I really liked this two piece set. The material was very warm and it fit really well. I actually kept this one because I, I felt this was doable in my comfort zone here. And as you can see, there's enough material where it is a big chest friendly and the sleeves were not short on me at all, so I really liked this for a holiday look. Don't you just love it when you can go to your parents or your grandparents' closet and find the perfect accessories free of charge? It's time to unleash the dragon. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Keep them dragons in that shirt, girl. When you get that new weave and you be like, who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me? Anywho, this is the cutout front dragon print crop top and skirt set. And as you can see, this fabric is trying in my whole entire life. It's trying to give me a Janet Jackson Super Bowl controversy and your girl is not having it. Other than the material, I thought the outfit was really cute. I definitely love the design of it. And I also really like the cutout that's on the front. But this material is a move with you material. The other outfits that I got, the material would stay in place. If I moved my arms or something, 
this outfit wasn't having it. It said, if you go, I go. And it was trying to go too, too much for me. So it had to go back. So here we've blown into another outfit and this is the plaid cami top and skirt set. Now this set I actually uh, really liked. I thought that it was doable. I could have probably kept it in my repertoire but I did end up sending this one back. However, the top was really nice. It was big chest friendly. And even though I didn't have on a bra, it still kept the girls in place. And I really liked the skirts and the fact that it had shorts underneath it. So just in case if the wind did blow, you don't have to worry about any Marilyn Monroe incidents happening. And the last outfit that I got was the plush striped bando top and split hem skirt set. And I got it in this beautiful red color. I thought this outfit was really cute and I definitely felt comfortable in it. It didn't show too much, but just the right amount that I liked. And I really appreciated the skirt with the split in it. As you can see here, with the type of material that it is, the top will stay in place even if there is quite a bit of movement. Oh, did I forget to mention I also got this in a black? Ah, doesn't it just look so slimming and gorgeous? Alright, enough of this voodoo hoodoo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, bye Glow Fam.